What if I told you that everything you believe about humanity, our societies, religions, and even money, might just be a shared delusion? Yuval Noah Harari's Sapiens reveals the truth about how myths, not facts, built the world we know. Think about this. Humans were insignificant animals for millions of years, yet we now control the fate of the entire planet. How did we leap to the top of the food chain? Harari argues it wasn't brute strength or intelligence alone, but something far more surprising, our ability to create and believe in collective stories. From the cognitive revolution to the rise of empires, Sapiens explores how myths turned into reality and reshaped our destiny. But what's the cost of this meteoric rise? Harari reveals uncomfortable truths about progress, inequality, and the challenges of our modern age. He doesn't just explain how we got here. He forces us to question where we're going next. Stay tuned as we journey through this extraordinary history and uncover what it truly means to be human. Harari begins by exploring the cognitive revolution, a period roughly 70,000 years ago when Homo sapiens developed unique cognitive abilities. Unlike other species, humans learn to think abstractly and communicate complex ideas. This ability to create and believe in shared myths, such as gods, laws, and nations, enabled large groups of humans to cooperate effectively. Harari highlights how this was the key differentiator that propelled humans to dominance over other animals and even other human species, like Neanderthals. But this cooperation wasn't all beneficial. Harari points out how these myths also sowed the seeds for competition, inequality, and conflict. As humans organized into larger and more complex societies, the balance of power began shifting, favoring those who controlled the narratives. This foundational shift set the stage for every major leap in human history. About 12,000 years ago, the agricultural revolution transformed the way humans lived. Harari challenges the common belief that this was a step forward for humanity. He argues that farming while increasing food production actually worsened the lives of most people. Farmers worked longer hours than hunter-gatherers and faced greater risks of famine and disease. Yet the revolution was a trap. Once humans began to farm, populations grew, and returning to the hunter-gatherer lifestyle became impossible. Harari describes this as history's luxury trap. The pursuit of comfort and security led to harder lives. Additionally, farming introduced the concept of private property and social hierarchies, creating inequality that persists today. Harari then examines how human societies began to unify under shared myths like religion, empires, and money. These universal systems allowed millions of people to cooperate and coexist. For example, money became a powerful shared story, enabling trade between strangers across vast distances. Empires and religions, while often oppressive, also connected disparate cultures and ideas. Harari emphasizes that this unification wasn't always peaceful but it played a crucial role in creating the globalized world we inhabit today. By exploring how these systems evolved, Harari reveals how deeply our modern lives are rooted in ancient beliefs. Fast forward to the 16th century. Harari details how the scientific revolution reshaped humanity's understanding of the world. Unlike earlier myths, science sought to embrace ignorance and constantly improve knowledge. This shift led to groundbreaking discoveries and innovations, from physics to medicine. Harari highlights the partnership between science, capitalism, and imperialism. Scientific progress often served the interests of empires, driving exploration and exploitation. The Industrial Revolution followed, creating unprecedented wealth but also environmental destruction and societal upheaval. Harari asks readers to consider whether our technological progress has truly made us happier or simply more powerful. Or is the Anthropocene, the era where humans became the dominant force shaping the planet? From climate change to nuclear weapons, our impact on Earth is undeniable. Harari warns of the challenges ahead, particularly with emerging technologies like genetic engineering and artificial intelligence. These advancements, could redefine what it means to be human. Harari questions whether we are prepared to handle the ethical dilemmas that come with such power. He ends this historical overview by highlighting humanity's ability to innovate, 
but cautions against our tendency to overreach without considering long-term consequences. In Sapiens, Harari explores how human progress is built on shared myths such as religion, money, and nations. These myths have enabled large-scale cooperation but are not based on objective reality. He also examines the costs of our advancements, including environmental damage and social inequality, urging us to consider if the benefits outweigh these sacrifices. Finally, Harari raises questions about our future. With technologies like AI and genetic engineering, we may soon redefine what it means to be human. This leads to ethical dilemmas about our responsibilities as the most powerful species on Earth. Sapiens challenges us to reflect on humanity's past, present, and future. Thanks for watching 8 Minute Masterpieces. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Sapiens, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about Harari's vision of humanity? Let us know below, and we'll see you in the next video.